exercises really burn belly fat? To answer that, let's look at this 2013 study where 24 healthy adults were split into two groups. One group performed ab exercises five times per week for six weeks. The other group did nothing. In the end, there was no difference in belly fat between the groups. That's probably not too surprising since neither group was eating in a calorie deficit. But would a calorie deficit have resulted in more belly fat loss for the group doing ab exercises? This study gives us the answer. They split participants into two groups. Both followed a calorie restricted diet. One group did 185 sit-ups per day and the other did nothing. In the end, both groups lost fat, but the sit-up group didn't lose any more belly fat than the diet-only group. You see, where you lose fat isn't controlled by the exercises you do, it's mostly dictated by genetics. Some people store more fat in their hips and thighs and others in the belly or lower back. In either case, fat loss is simply a matter of staying in a calorie deficit long enough to achieve your goal.